Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining a problem on steady flow energy equation that is SFEE. So, let's get started. Now, here is the question given. Whatever is given here, I'll write that in the form of data. It is given in a steady flow system. The type of system is steady flow and steady flow system means open system so we can apply SFE over here then at the rate of fluid flows at the rate of 5 kg per second so the mass flow rate of fluid is given then it enters at a pressure of 620 kilopascal so I'll write down these are the inlet conditions so the inlet pressure P1 is 620 kilopascal multiplying it with 10 raised to 3 will give me the answer as Newton per meter square then and a velocity of 300 meter per second so inlet velocity denoted by C1 internal energy of 2100 kilojoule per kg internal energy at inlet is denoted by U1 then and specific volume of 0 0.37 meter cube per kg specific volume denoted by small v1 and remember why we are denoting it with small letters is that the values are in terms of per kg form so whenever they are in the form of per kg we have to denote it by small letter so this is small u1 this is small v1 next it leaves the system at a pressure of 130 Pascal so these are the exit conditions the leaving pressure is 130 Pascal and Pascal is nothing but Newton per meter square so it is 130 Newton per meter square then the velocity is velocity of 150 meter per second so that is C2 internal energy of 1500 kilojoule per kg and specific volume 1.2 meter cube per kg then it is given determine the power capacity of the system so we have to find out the power output if heat loss is 30 kilojoule per kg so the heat loss is given in terms of per kg which is 30 kilojoule per kg will be denoted by small letter Q because it is in the form of per kg basis so therefore the heat loss small q and since it is heat loss so it would be written with a negative sign remember and it is 30 kilojoule per kg so for these conditions we have to find the power capacity of this plant or system and power capacity would be denoted as w w dot suffix sh which is called as the shaft work so that is the data now let us get started with the solution part we have to find out the power capacity here then into the solution part i'll start with the steady flow energy equation because this is an open system so since SFEE the steady flow energy equation based on time is given by Q dot minus W suffix SH dot is equal to M dot mass flow rate the change in enthalpy change in kinetic energy and change in potential energy now why I have indicated it with dot because these are time based values uh, since it is based on time and why we want it in terms of time because we want the answer of shaft work in terms of kilowatts and that kilowatts is kilojoule per second so I have to use SFE based on time so I'll highlight it that would be the first equation and now remember that whatever terms are there inside this bracket they should have a unit of kilojoule per kg because when kilojoule per kg 
gets multiplied with mass flow rate which is kg per second so kg kg will get cancelled out and we have kilojoule per second that kilojoule per second is nothing but kilowatt so that's why whatever terms are there inside the bracket change in enthalpy change in kinetic energy and change in potential energy should be in kilojoule per kg now i'll go on finding each terms one by one starting with q dot that is the heat transfer so therefore the rate of heat transfer is given by it is m dot into the small heat transfer which is denoted by q because this small q would be in terms of kilojoule per kg as mentioned in the problem mass flow rate kg per second so i'll get the unit as kilowatt now that is equal to the mass flow rate is 5 and q value it is minus 30 kilojoule per kg so capital q dot would be minus 150 kilowatts so that is q dot then we have to find shaft work so for that we require change in enthalpy change in kinetic energy change in potential energy starting with change in potential energy that since change in potential energy is given by g into z2 minus z1 divided by 1000 the unit is in terms of kilojoule per kg and now in the entire problem nothing is mentioned about the height or the level difference so we can say z1 equal to z2 and therefore the change in potential energy will be equal to zero because since nothing is specified about the height about the height or also we can say about the elevation it means the level may be horizontal of inlet and exit then we require change in kinetic energy change in kinetic energy will be given by c2 square minus c1 square divided by 2000 c2 value is 150 c1 is 300 divided by 2000 so therefore the change in kinetic energy will come out to be in terms of kilojoule per kg it is minus 33.75 kilojoule per kg and negative sign indicates that there is a drop in kinetic energy it means it is a drop in velocity as we see here the inlet velocity was more 300 meter per second exit velocity is less 150 meter per second so there is drop in kinetic energy now the only thing left here is change in enthalpy delta h which is given by h2 minus h1 and it can also be written as cp t2 minus t1 where mass is 1 kg now when we look at this question nothing is given about the temperature also as we see here the temperatures are not given but they have given some hint in the form of p1 u1 v1 similarly p2 u2 and v2 because the change in enthalpy can also be denoted by or it is given by the formula which is change in internal energy plus the change in flow work which is p into v delta pv and now what are these values delta u is u2 minus u1 change in internal energy and delta pv is p2 v2 minus p1 v1 these terms p into v are also called as flow work so by the definition of enthalpy it is the summation or addition of change in internal energy and it is the change in flow work so therefore the change in enthalpy would be these values are given in the problem u2 is 1500 u1 is 2100 plus p2 value 130 newton per meter square and now when we are keeping the internal energy in terms of kilojoule per kg even pressures should be in the form of kilo newton per meter square why because the unit of pressure if i keep it in terms of kilo newton per meter square multiplied with volume that is specific volume so that would be meter cube per kg so here 
meter square and meter square will get cancelled out so kilo newton meter is left and kilo newton meter is nothing but it is kilo joule so we get the unit kilo joule per kg so basically pressure needs to be kept in terms of kilo newton per meter square it was 130 pascal that is 130 newton per meter square so dividing this by 1000 it is 0 0.13 so i am going to put the value of p2 as 0 0.13 kilo newton per meter square or simply here i can say it is 130 divided by 1000 to get it in terms of kilo newton per meter square into the specific volume at point 2 which is 1.2 then minus p1 again that is 620 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square but we have the value in terms of kilo newton per meter square which is kilo pascal so it is 620 into v1 which is 0 0.37 so on calculating these entire terms delta h value will come out to be the change in enthalpy is minus 673.4 kilojoule per kg now after getting all these values I can put the value in equation number one that is SFE to get the amount of shaft work so therefore putting all values in equation first so therefore in equation one we have Q dot and the value was minus 150 so minus 150 minus w suffix sh dot is equal to the mass flow rate is 5 kg per second it is given so 5 into the bracket delta h delta h value came out to be it is minus 673.4 plus delta ke value minus 33.75 nothing mentioned about height so change in potential energy was zero and on calculating these terms that is i would be calculating the right hand side minus 150 goes on to the other side becomes plus 150 and then the answer is it is 3385.75 kilowatts or that becomes 3. 385 megawatts when I divide this by 1000 so as mentioned in the problem that's the answer and it was written we have to find the power capacity so I'll say that therefore the power capacity of the system that is the power which is produced by the system is 3.385 megawatts and since it is positive it means the work is done by the system and if the answer would have been negative then it would have been work is done on the system so in short that was a problem regarding the sfe at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching